Hey everybody, bit of an odd one here, but it's worth talking about for at least one reason. Storm dropped this teaser on their social media accounts, and this is all we have for now. It says Storm reinvents the benchmark and has the top half of their AI core logo beneath that, and the caption on the post says find out more information on May 7th. It seems obvious to assume that there's an IQ tour coming with the AI outer core, because benchmark traditionally means something that's strong rolling and controllable like the IQ tour solid of course, a sensor solid, NV tour, so on and so forth, but it could be all kinds of things because just adding AI to an IQ tour wouldn't really reinvent anything, it'd just tweak it a little. It could be an AI phase, or it could even be a completely new line, we don't know, and speculation isn't entirely the point of this video, we'll find out when they tell us. Now to start with the AI outer core, again, it takes a core and strengthens it slightly overall, but maybe the more significant factor is that it creates a lot more similarity in the numbers um, from 14 to 16 pounds, which has historically been a problem for SPI. Oftentimes the 14 pound versions end up with so much higher of an RG versus the 15 pound version that you lose the effect of what the ball is supposed to be or the shape or reaction it's supposed to create if you don't throw 15 pounds. As we've seen with the upcoming The Road, the AI core completely equalized the numbers from 14 through 16 pounds when there had been uh, previously a wild disparity between the weights, and that brings me to the ultimate point of the video. Something that frustrated me to no end as a staffer was that they have a habit of stepping on the toes of upcoming releases uh, with news of yet another release, and the worst part was that you couldn't talk about it. They'd constantly wait until something was just about to release and then announce something else a few days before, which would naturally shift the attention and buzz away from the ball or balls releasing a few days away to something else that was most of the time over a month away. They also had a rule that we couldn't release videos for or talk about anything until we got within three weeks of release date, and when they typically announced things uh, five weeks before release date, that meant two weeks of sitting on my hands and not being able to get any information out there. Then on top of that, they'd constantly scold us with the typical line, well, I know we're all excited about the new announcements, but we really need to focus on the balls that are releasing in a few days. Yes, but the problem with that is that with fresh announcements, that's what people want to know about. They don't want to be redirected to something else that they've already seen for weeks. Now, in the case of this teaser, it was posted a week before the road was set to release. Now, with a traditional announcement, it's still a problem to steal attention or momentum going into a release date for something, but it's less of a problem when you know what it is because hopefully the releases are diverse enough to be able to pick out which ball or balls you need or want out of the bunch. However, in this case, while we have a pretty strong hunch as to what it could be, it's up in the air. There are several different things it could be, and for some people that had their eyes on the road, that casts some doubt over whether they go ahead with the purchase or wait to see what this teaser ends up being. I'm not sure why they couldn't have just waited another week to post this until after the road had its release weekend to itself, because the teaser comes three and a half weeks before we get the information, and once we get the information, it's likely to be another three to four weeks before that ball releases. Now, to finally get to the point of the video, if you're interested in the road, I think you can safely go ahead and pick it up because it's not a benchmark type of ball. Whatever this teased ball ends up being, a benchmark is typically lower RG and lower to medium differential with a sanded solid cover, so while we don't know the details, I think there's enough information in the teaser to safely say that there's not going to be any overlap with the road, so there's no reason to wait it out. If you want to see the full reviews I have up featuring both the testers you've been seeing here, you can either find them on my channel or I have both of them linked in the description, along with a link to Bowler's Mart to get the road ordered. I of course do have to disclose that I receive a whopping 5% commission for all sales through the link. Uh, also don't forget my code ROSEDALL10 to get 10% off your order at checkout at Coolwick. Plus the Nexus Bowling Backpack V2 is available now, my in-depth review for it plus the report card for the original is also linked in the description, in addition to a link to the Nexus website that will save you 10% there as well. Thanks for watching, and may the strikes be with you.